we, um, we started the project in the first place because of um, my husband and I adopted two boys who were, uh, we found were on the autistic spectrum and um, as they were in need of an education, we couldn't really find a program that was appropriate for them. So we started talking to other parents of students who had uh, special needs and realized that it was a need that existed on the island. ECC, as the project itself has been a, uh, in existence since 1998, but it started as a research project to see how many kids were in need of help. And then in 2000, we started our first classroom in a trailer at St. Francis de Sales School. And then in 2003, we the Archdiocese gave us permission to move to use this land. Um, so we actually started here on this property in 2003. We're under the governance of the Catholic Archdiocese and they gave us the permission to use the land and to start the program, but they didn't have funds available to support special education. So whatever we needed to do that, we would have to raise by ourselves. It takes a lot. It takes um, about $600,000 a year in finances. So most of our children are not fr are from families who um, can't really afford a private education. Most of them would have been in government schools or had been in government schools, which are free. Um, but because there are no services available in the government schools, they were uh, either not able to be serviced there or consistently failing in, in the schools. We, um, so we um, made the decision that we were going to try and service the children regardless of whether they could, the families could pay or not if they had special needs. I think what makes ECC different than a lot of schools around the world um, especially around here and I mean in general around the world is the fact that the premise is love and acceptance um, and I, I joke about it a lot because my job is basically to love the kids and teach them how to love and that's what I do every day. The school is geared around actually um, addressing their needs and their needs at the moment so we always want our kids to be independent when graduating, we want them to be able to hold a job placement, but you know, there's emotional issues, there's, you know, situational issues, there's like misunderstandings that, you know, I mean, how many people graduate understanding the world? <laughs> like, you don't even, you're getting out of university with a master's degree and you still don't know, you know, all of these things. So that's what our basis is just giving the kids hugs and loving them, and it's just a really incredible thing. I think all school could do a good job as ECC. They just have to have the right amount of teachers and teachers that care about the students, care about their job, and care about what they want to put in the student's head for another day. Like some teachers in this school, they'll, they'll give you work, they'll give you work and they'll show you different ways how to solve problems. Even if you don't have internet that you have to study, they say go to the library or come by my house and I'll, I'll teach you it and all of that. Different school, they'll give you work and tell you that go and go study this. If you ain't got no internet to come back next day, get me in for it. But not this school, this school is show you different ways to work with your problem. One day when I, when I first came here when I was in I cut and learn. And now they teach me and how I do it better. Mm -hmm. They teach you how to read better and they help you on your math. Um, if you can't figure it out, they, like, they help you figure it out and stuff. And, and, and I'm, planning, I'm planning stuff I learned coming to the school. I, I learned how to read better. And, um, they, teach me how to, um, they teach me how to do plenty of stuff. Teachers. Teachers don't just give you work and tell you to go study, come back next day of exam. They, they sit down with you and go over it. If you don't understand it, they start back all over again. And they'll go over it, go over it until they get it, every single day until they get it. What's probably your favorite thing about ECC? My favorite thing about 
My favorite thing is my favorite thing in ECC is drum class. Maybe it's big drums. The drum? It's mostly drumming. I like I like beat. I make music, so I like drumming. just like it to continue with the um, to be able to give the children the opportunity to grow in the way that they have grown and to be nurtured in the way they ha had been nurtured and to um, see the vision of having the community accept people with all different abilities and disabilities be able to grow and continue on Abaco. ECC is a, is a good school some people say it's a dumb school, but it's not really a dumb school. Once you come to the school, a social down school, you will see all the good things that the school have that no other school don't have. Like me, when I first saw my uncle, I never knew none about these islands until I come to school and we start going to future for the school, playing for different people. And I see different places I've never been before. And the school, the school, the school could do a lot for you. A lot of life. God made us on purpose. We're part of His plan. He cares and He knows us by name. Kids under the shadow.